Oh my god, how many people do I have to fart? 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 I was reading the chat message about farting. I just wanted to hit the sentry. There we go. I get you. Oh. Oh. Shouldn't be alive. Yet I am. Damn. That was actually a decent hybrid night moment, because I did all that because I was able to destroy the sentry in the first place. Not bad. Ugh. Nope, that's a tree. I, I, I Georgia the jungled myself there. And I got cum guzzled. Nope. Okay, that one was my bad. Well, more my bad. That one was... Okay. Didn't even know it was there. Like, I'm, I'm playing Demo Knight while they're playing Scout. It's like, it's like that thing where a tall person will just hold their hand on your forehead while you're trying to like, Ah, let me at him! Let me at him! It's like that. I guess the Bizarre Bargain has are the only fucking explanation. Ah, oh, you bastard. Hop back there, you... Yeah, you stinky! I'm gonna fucking kill myself! I'm gonna fucking kill myself, dude. Maybe I was a difference maker, considering I'm on a 14 kill streak right now. Oh god. Oh god. No. No. I eventually died. Oh, the Islander. When it gets going, it's it's like Delta P. When it's gotcha. Gotcha. What can I say except that I hope the people who made these bots get married to a, to a wonderful, beautiful wife. I hope they get married to, to the woman of their dreams. Right? I hope they get married to the woman of their dreams. I hope she dies of fucking cancer. But, but, before she dies, she leaves behind a beautiful, beautiful little baby. And I hope you get into a car accident while you have that child in your car. And I hope the both of you are fucking permanently paralyzed. And I hope your child gr grows to resent you. I hope they grow to fucking hate you. Because everything you did... What happened to them was completely your fault. And I hope that you outlive that child. You live long enough to outlive them. You're able to see the culmination of all your life's work just crumble and fall before you. And I hope you think back to when you made that funny little- that, those funny little bots for that stupid hat game. And hope you think it was all worth it. To have the most miserable experience that ever- any- any human could possibly ever exist. In Minecraft. What did they expect? Oh, get fucking shit on you, annoying little fucking mosquito. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor bastard. Oh! Quick draw. <gasps> Time Master! Oh my fucking god, it's been so long. I don't know how I didn't notice the fucking... the banana black box. My god, it's him. Oh my god, people to fight, I feel so alive. And he's dead. Ooh, the double. That's the thing that pisses me off about Twitter, is just like, I will not care about something to such a... such a ridiculous degree. Such a preposterous degree, rather. And it's just like, 
I, I have never interacted with anything related to this even once. I I have made it a, a clear point to mute the person that is discussing this topic anytime they show up on my feed with extreme prejudice and Twitter just keeps shoving it in my fucking face until I have no choice but to mute just any words associated with it what's like just in general. No, in a, in a real life mathematical emergency, you, you will never at any point have a calculator on you. When you're out in the field and you gotta solve for that X, you, you think... You think Mother Nature is just going to give you a calculator? You think those bitches grow on trees? Give me my fucking field-tested alien tech. I don't give a shit. Thank you for trying to improve my mood game. Thank you for trying. Actually, I think... Just the fact that I can sell that for like 56 keys may make that one of the best things I have ever unboxed in all of TF2. Ah yeah, this is the one with the big soldier boys. I... Oh my god. That was very satisfying though. My sister just turned 30 today. And I'm making fun of her for being all old. Like, oh man, you need to go grab your fucking spectacles, Grandma. And she's like, you're old too, you know? I'm just like, yeah, I know. You, sir, are very bald. That guy tried to fucking trick stab me. You saw it. You all saw it. He tried. Imagine the Sydney Sleeper actually sleeps people and inflicts slow. Oh good, the Overwatch sniper rifle. That's what this game needs. Yeah, Anna, that's her name. I thought it was Anya. I, I think that's a Hololive girl. Onion? No, that's another Hollow Life girl. That that's Aqua. Only thing I've seen VTuber say is sex and scream. Okay, watch Ina then. Ina is very chill. She does not do the screaming. She doesn't do the horny. I mean, all of her fans are exceptionally horny. Like it's weird. I mean, like I'm I'm part of that. I'm part of the problem. Speaking of VTubers and also Vosh, I see Matsuri streaming on my fucking homepage, and I know that when Vosh. All of his little, uh, all of, all of his things got seen. She was in there. Rotate. Banan. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh, uh, should I eat the scout? Should I? Mom, mom, mom. Hang on. Mom. Ward. He's gone. I ate him. Me with the suspiciously scout-shaped belly. Couldn't have been me. All right, well, Wheezy wants me to play Penis Scout, so I gotta listen to the uh, to, to to the Penis Man himself. Where's my Where's my boost and boosher? That is my boost and boosher. My signed in or I didn't. If I get 500k, will I do a foreskin stream? What does that mean? What did you mean by this? Oh, please. No. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I got it! I'm not cringe. I'm based. Yeah, eat it, motherfucker. Oh. I'm, I'm penising so hard right now. Ooh! Ooh, the double. That was a juicy double. I think that there is, like... Th there is a power fantasy element in a lot of Mary Sue's and, and Gary Stew's and all that sort of thing. And I think that certain characters do end up being power fantasies, but I think it works better in certain kinds of stories. Like, someone being basically a Mary Sue slash Gary Stew works out really well in an Indiana Jones type story. Because the whole point of that story is basically to be like this power fantasy, I want to be like Indiana Jones. 
You insert yourself. You 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 insert yourself into Indiana Jones. You and George Lucas and Steven Spielberg, you, you bend him over the pinball machine and you insert yourself into him. Like with Pirates of the Caribbean, you pretend the fifth doesn't exist. I pretend the fourth doesn't exist either. You mean to tell me that all of the like cool and funny pirate side characters just ended up all dying off screen? My boys, fucking Pintel and Rigetti, Cotton, his parrot, Marty the Dwarf, they all just died off screen? Fuck you. Wasn't the villain thing from the fifth one that his boat eats other boats? That sounds about right. I know that he was like a massive over-actor. And he was like, Captain Jack Sparrow. Ooh, you make me evil. I am a Captain Salazar, I am, I am the bad guy. Oh yeah, weren't they planning on making like an all-female Lord of the Flies, which completely defeats the entire purpose of Lord of the Flies as like a book? If you want to have some kind of story about just like girls, young girls just being the absolute worst to each other, y you have that. It's called Mean Girls. <laughs> Am I saying that Mean Girls is just the female equivalent of Lord of the Flies? Yes. What is Lord of the Flies about? Lord of the Flies is about this group of boys that gets, uh, Stuck on an island. And, uh, they basically... <laughs> end up creating a destructive social hierarchy and devolve from their humanity and become more akin to animals than men. And it's basically a deconstruction of this very popular, uh, genre of books that was going around at the time. Where, like, a, a group of young schoolboys would get into some kind of crazy situation. You know, some kind of survival situation. And the, the stick to of the British man would win the day and get them through it. And then this is just like, hey, what if it didn't? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's funny every time. LA has the Lakers and the Clippers. Fuck LA! Fuck LA! Why do they get two teams? Why do they get two teams of everything? Why do, they, why do they get the Lakers and the Clippers? Why do they get the fucking Chargers and the... What, are the, what else do they got? Who, who the fuck else is in LA? Is that the Raiders? Oh, it's the Rams. I'm, I'm, no, I'm fucking pissed about the Chargers. I don't even like football. I don't even like fucking football. I'm pissed about the Chargers. Because they were ours. That was our word. You had the Angels and the Dodgers. I remember the Angels. Because of the movie, The Angels in the Outfield. I remember that movie. I don't know how many other people remember that movie, but I remember it. Angels used to be Anaheim. They just, they just fucking poach everything. Fucking LA can't, they can't just have their own thing. They gotta just poach other people's shit. <laughs> yeah, God helped a baseball team win by cheating. It was a good movie too. Maybe. I don't remember, actually. Yeah, I was watching a YouTube video about, like, a shipping disaster or something, and it was written off as an act of God. That's what it was. It wasn't a plane. I was just thinking about planes because Boeing is going down the fucking tubes. Because I think about that a lot. It's like how most men think about the Roman Empire, like, 15 times a day. I think about how Boeing is going down the fucking tubes. You know how there's the theory of how our moon was built? How, how our moon was constructed? That, like, a, a, a planet that uh, was a, a bit smaller than Mars ended up slamming into us pretty early on in uh, Earth's lifespan. And that just kind of merged the two planets together. And so even now, there's still a little bit of that old planet. Boeing is like that. Except, instead of a little bit, it's all of it. And it's like, and instead of you know a planet, it's McDonnell Douglas. I think after the merger, where they where they bought out McDonnell Douglas, they just kind of became them. And now they've inherited everything, including their records of crashes and poor maintenance. And uh, in general, Boeing was already in pretty hot water for the. Uh, I believe it was the 737 MAX. 
which was basically an update to their 737 planes, except <laughs> they had a they had a bit of a problem. On takeoff, sometimes, why, why they just crash the plane and kill everyone? Basically, there was this new, um, this new software system on board the plane called MCAS, I believe, and it was very, very prone to malfunctions. It would basically automatically turn the plane into a just like downward nosedive if I'm not mistaken and then when the pilots tried to correct that because uh shit we're not supposed to be in a fucking nosedive we're taking off right now then the plane would enter a stall since like they're basically just fighting the controls of the plane and uh yeah then the plane crashes and kills everyone oh yeah and they never told the pilots how to use MCAS because they rushed the, th the 737 MAX, like, really fast out of production. Because, you know, they're competing with uh, Airbus, making basically their own uh, updated version of their new plane. And it's like, fuck, we gotta beat Airbus to the punch. But that means we won't have enough time to train the pilots on how to use, like, all the new systems of the plane. It's just like, it's fine. It, it, it's basically just the 737 again. Just, they'll, they'll figure it out. That doesn't matter. What matters is we gotta beat Airbus and sell a lot of planes and make a lot of money. And do you want to hear how this totally cool and handsome Sith Apprentice totally owned his master? Don't ask why I, a humble politician, would know such a gnarly tale. Did I hear that Baby Gronk done li rizzed up Livy? What what Disney Channel show is this? this? This is a plot point in a Disney Channel TV show. New Jersey? How bad was the first one? New Jersey? Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. He is getting big. He's a big boy. Look at him. Remember when he was like the size of my finger? Also, I think he's looking at the fish avatar and has no idea what to think of it. Also, yeah, I got the Tower of Dr. Pepper cans. You'll have to forgive me. I'm very depressed. To ignore all the trash in my room. I'm extremely depressed. Look at him going all the way up my arm. You are, like, almost wrist to elbow. We count the tip of your tail, and hey, the tip of your tail should be longer. Because you lost part of it. I just fed you a bunch. Oh, he's gonna poop on me. I think. Yeah, he's, he's raising his... Yeah, there it goes. Uh, that's the first time you've done that on stream. Well, now you know what you're getting into if you get an alligator lizard. Meow. Mm. Are you upset about this? Yes, yes she is. Oh, uh, we're kind of just like trashing. That's what it seems like anyway. Except for, okay, well that guy. That guy didn't, uh, he didn't fly so good. Who wants to try next? <laughs> well, I got him. Oh, you gotta be fucking- Okay, we're going in. Oh, he flies. Oh, he's cracked. Oh my god, I can't believe he lived that. That man. That man is a legend. You're right, you know what? If I ever die, it's not my fault. It's because this- this stupid fucking medic is just not pocketing me enough. I'll just bind all of my keys to call for medic. And bind all my other keys to say random slurs in chat. Oh, where are you going, son? Where are you going, son? Yeah, that's why I thought, biznatch. Yeah, this is... Oh, give me- NOT AGAIN! No! Damn it, this guy's good. Oh, I'm sorry. My my weapons heal me. You know what? That was a Time Master moment. 
Aw, uh, no dispenser for you. Uh, also, ow. Also, ow. Who else remains? Why would you pat? Why would you be passive with the conch box? Like, you can go in there. That shit's fun. Oh! Oh, the multi kill! Oh, who's the fucking. Who's Big Dick Johnson now? That's what I thought, Mr. Direct Hit Soldier. Oh, I'm so, I'm so. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm not Big Dick Johnson anymore. My dick is not that big. Hence the name. Oh, come on. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's like getting fucking no scope to death. Oh Jesus! Yeah, boundaries. I I never heard of her. Well, that's our first godlike in a while. This guy really doesn't know how to play the game. I'm gonna guess that this is like someone's little brother or something. Who's just playing on his older brother's account. That would 100% be my guess for what's going on there. I'm sorry. But they'll take that, what is normally a subversion, and just like, kind of run it into the ground almost. You know what I mean? Or just like, oh man. What if the, the, the angels are the evil ones, and the devils are the fucking cool awesome ones, you know what I mean? Like that kind of shit, fucking has-been hotel garbage. Same mechanism as mascot horror? Eh, I don't know about that, because mascot horror pretty much, like, at, at least in terms of just how fucking huge it is now, that originated from Five Nights at Freddy's, and that got popular because the animatronics at Chuck E. Cheese were already just weird and creepy, and nobody liked them. Like, it's basically just a parody of an already existing Uncanny Valley. Also, I think it's a bit... It's a bit odd to equate, uh... Chuck E. Cheese animatronics with... God? Chuck E. Christ. <laughs> Charles Entertainment Christ. Okay, good. Their heavy is finally dead. Hi there, you're scary. Also, how did you... How'd you finish me off? What happened? Where's the sniper? I, I, I saw him. Ah, <laughs> uh, cleaver kills. They're, they're always gonna be funny. Uh, Overwatch was influenced by literally everything under the sun, and then it decided to just stick everything under the sun into the exact same goddamn game, and hope that it fit well together. Through some th fucking miracle, people were actually kind of cool with it. Overwatch just... Like, at, at least in terms of characters, right? Overwatch just slapped literally everything it could find into a, a setting and just hoped it would stick. There's absolutely no cohesion whatsoever. I think if it wasn't in the same general art style, right? If you took two Overwatch characters and put them right next to each other, nine times out of ten, you wouldn't be able to tell they're from the same fucking game. The influx of idle taunts? I don't really mind them all that much, honestly. Like, I know Dusty really fucking hates them. I honestly really don't care. I'm fine with them. Like, pretty much that sort of situation right there is basically what they're perfect for, which is just like, hey, we're, we're just... Goofing off, having a fun time in, like, the, the fucking pregame. Because unless you're, like, Engineer or maybe Demo Man or Medic, you're not really doing much in the pregame outside of just, like, getting to the front lines. So, having some idle taunts to, like, just kind of dick around with your teammates with, I don't really mind that too much. It's fine. Ow. I, I see you. You ain't slick. You're you're more slick. I'll give I'll give you that. Not a chance, spy. Oh, that made me sad. I should have just gone for the no scope. It's 
Is he actually gonna... <laughs> Not on my watch, motherfucker. Ooh. Oh, wait, I see you, banana man. Hopping over on the white hot sand. I'm gonna fucking get your ass. Is what I would have said if... Okay. <laughs> your banana was your, was your downfall that time. One can never expect a banana to last forever. Sun Tzu said that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this guy with the backstab headshot. No, I'm not. He's gonna come from up there though. No, he's not. <laughs> oh, not a chance. You think I'm gonna let you get away with that? Uh-uh. Switching to nuclear power would be good right now, just in general? Like, yeah, obviously. It's the obvious solution, but, like, no one wants to go for it because there's just been so much anti-nuclear sentiment and, uh, let's be honest, propaganda over the years that, like, a lot of people just aren't going to go for it. Even though, like, a mass switch to nuclear power would pretty much be the best thing for humanity as a whole, you know who it wouldn't be good for? Oil companies. It'd be really bad for oil companies. Greenpeace has also dealt just such a massive fucking blow. I don't know if, like... I don't know if they took money from oil companies for all the anti-nuclear shit they've been pushing. But, like, I wouldn't be surprised. But what about Chernobyl? Listen, the only thing that you could possibly learn from Chernobyl is that communists are so fucking retarded that they can't even boil water. That is the only thing of value that you could possibly get from Chernobyl. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Oh! Okay, that was pretty fucking sick, you gotta admit. If I hit the second one, too, that would have been awesome. Oh. Bad time to Criticola. Oh, the double! The double bleed! Perhaps part of the reason I was so tired today, or like I am so tired today just in general. Fucking Brandy woke me up. I think what happened is... She was falling off the bed. And so she's like, oh no, I'm slipping off the bed. I need to g grab onto something. And so she hooks right into my foot. Just... Digs her, one of her big ass claws right into my foot. R right on, like, my heel. Where I got a big scar on my foot already. So I don't know if she just made that worse. <laughs> uh, I don't care about the bot. That was that was awesome. So engineer's only option for a uh, for a melee weapon will pretty much be the power fist, as my stand-in for uh... <laughs> how unfortunate. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. But, like, you're the pocketed flog, Pyro. You kind of deserve the taunt after you get your entire uber stuffed by a single loose cannon demo. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. If it were me on the other end of that double dong, I would have been like, you know what, that's fair. Oh, you've made a, mis you've made a grave mistake. I've made a grave mistake. Everyone but me made a grave mistake. Oh, expanding bloodbending sounds cool, but like just making it ridiculously overpowered is not cool. It's just bloodbending but better. And that is, I, I find that kind of insulting when it's like, do you remember how bloodbending was invented? It was invented by an imprisoned woman practicing it whenever she got the opportunity, for years on end. And then continued to use it against, like, civilians for years. Do 
but she never practiced with it enough to learn how to be a psychic bloodbender when Amon and his brother are shown doing it as fucking children. That's some girl power right there. Fucking master waterbender who, in completely on her own, invented this ridiculous technique through years of trial and error. No, just... Do it without the full moon while you're a child. On multiple targets at once. Without even, like, moving. Like, seriously, fuck you. Just, like, on a principle level alone, fuck you. Like, I wish that was my only fucking issue with the show is, oh no, they ruined bloodbending, and by extension, like, one of the coolest fucking one-off villains that the show ever had. There's more to it than that, though. And as soon as I get to my ridiculously lengthy script on the topic, hopefully you guys will understand my perspective on Korra a bit better.